A train runs across this track. There's a very simple reason three-year-old Oliver likes coming to this bookstore with his mother. I like free books. This is like a very special time because, um, you know, um, it's a great teaching experience and also a bonding experience. Room, room, beep, beep. Oliver and his mother are among the thousands of regular customers who visit Politics and Prose, a popular independent bookstore in Northwest Washington that's been a neighborhood fixture for 30 years. If you don't know Shakespeare, they come for the lively book discussions <laughs> to visit the coffee shop. What I've tried to do in this book is and to attend the daily author readings. Even President Obama visited the store with his daughters to show his support for small businesses. In recent years, more and more Americans have been turning to digital or e-books and buying their books online and at bookstore chains. As a result, there's a perception that independent bookstores are slowly disappearing. But that is simply not the case, says Oren Hiker, head of the American Booksellers Association. The group represents about 1,600 independently owned retail bookstores and 2,200 locations across the U.S. In 2012, um, we had about an 8% increase in total sales in our member stores. Uh, we've held uh, that increase in 2013, which we're absolutely delighted about. Tyker says one reason independent bookstores are doing well is because owners are deeply engaged in the community. And our staff will pick a book. Lisa Muscatine agrees. She and her husband, Bradley Graham, bought politics and prose from its original owners a few years ago. As people's lives become more homogenized, more digitized, more anonymous, more impersonal, they, they, thr- they want and crave places to go where they're interacting with real people. And I think a bookstore, especially, more than almost any institution in a community, provides that. Actually, this one. Jeannie Kahn has bought her books at Politics and Prose since it opened. I just love reading and have become a voracious reader and would much rather buy books at an independent bookstore than at one of the mega bookstores or Amazon. Still, Muscatine and Graham have taken measures to keep up with the times. We offer e-readers. We also uh, offer the uh, service for customers to be able to download onto any kind of e-reader. But they still provide what their customers like best. We've expanded uh, uh, in a number of areas, including literary classes and, and trips. We have our own book printing machine now uh, in, in the store. Uh, we're doing more and more with author events. And at the end of the day, there's another essential element that keeps customers coming back. I think that reading a physical book still provides a tactile experience for people that simply can't be replicated on a screen. My engine is loud, Axel says. Whether little Oliver grows up to read physical books, e-books, or both, right now he has a simple message for readers of all kinds. Keep reading books. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Washington.